Hey, 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 good morning, David Cardell coming at you, of course. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to catch some shit over being in my bathroom, but I work from home. I'm comfortable. Uh, I'm not going to go have my hair done and do my makeup done. You know, when I'm just going to be here at home all day. And you only have to look at me in my robe for a minute. Makes you wonder what I got on underneath, though, don't it? So, anyway, um, coming at you with another inside look at uh, Mailer Light. I'm going to share some stats with you this morning and uh, let you know what's going on. And don't worry, we're going to, we're going to get around to the, uh, the inside tour and showing you how to set up the different uh, features in Mailer Light. Those will come out on different posts probably tomorrow, maybe later on today. Might actually do two today. Okay. But I know, I know I've got to fix our lawnmower and get the yard mode um, before it gets out of control, like me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take that inside look now. Okay, as you can see, I'm inside a mailer light. I'm on the dashboard. And as you can see, um, the uh, campaign for screen profits. Uh, by Jeff Caravantes. If you're not familiar, then please just hit me up on Facebook or leave a comment below in the uh, Facebook comments section. And I'm thinking about adding a uh, maybe comment love back to my blog and see if uh, see if I can get some of you subscribers and uh, visitors to take action and maybe leave a comment or a question or or just anything would you know. That would be nice. So, as you can see, um, 54 recipients, because I still haven't imported all of my contacts from Aweber yet. And I did pay for another month of Aweber, so might as well just go ahead and, you know, uh, use it up. But uh, almost, well, 7.5% open and almost 4% click. Now considering that's such a low number of recipients, that's pretty high numbers for an open rate and click-through rate. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's been 108 emails sent this month. And some of you think, well, that's a lot. Well, um, not really. Not really at all. And, um, that's, I think that's over a uh, course of time, because as you can see down here, oh, that's for my workflows. That's for the automation, which is uh, the autoresponder. <clears throat> but anyways, you can see 108 have been sent. Uh, eight, eight and a half percent have opened. Almost two percent have clicked through. Two have unsubscribed, which, hey, I don't have a problem with that. They are uh, taking action. At least it's an action of some sort. And um, one of them, I actually asked them to subscribe because um, of their spam complaint. Um, the first um, broadcast or campaign email that they received from me, they hit the spam button. And I just sent them a very nice email from my Gmail and said, hey, you know, uh, I don't really understand why you would do that, um, considering that you opted in to get, you know, one of my freebies, uh, whether it was a PDF or the audio recordings or maybe both. But I don't understand why you would uh, opt in and then turn around and hit the spam complaint from the very first email I send you. Uh, would you please just go ahead and unsubscribe? Evidently they did, so I'm, I don't have a problem with that either. So, uh, okay, let's, let's uh, view the report, shall we? Uh, here we go. Okay, now, like I say, as you can see, there's 54 emails sent. 7.5% open with almost a 4% click-through rate. One unsubscribe. No more spam complaints. And uh, 
no hard bounces, one soft bounce, or two soft bounces. Um, webmail. Uh, top email clients are still unknown. Unique clicks was a uh, screen profits bonus, which is pretty cool. Yes, I do own davidcaudill.rocks. Um, if you don't have a .rocks domain yet yourself, get you one, man. They're, they're pretty cool. And, it, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Hey, you rock, right? Total clicks. And, um, let's go now to link activity. As you can see, um, basically the same uh, stats as before. Uh, let's go to subscribers. Now I'm going to have to blur this out because <clears throat> I don't want uh, people, you know, to have other people's emails unless, of course, they subscribe to their uh, list themselves. 54 subscribers on the Four Paul's Creations list. 13% uh, opened, 4% click through. Those are astronomical numbers, really, in all reality. But let's go ahead and go a little deeper in depth. Now, like I say, I am going to have to um, block out these email addresses. But as you can see, um, three emails were sent, three emails were open. Thank you very much. I'll just use their first name, David, for that. No, it's not me. Um, four was sent, and one was open. Two was sent, one was open. Two was sent, one was open. Two was sent, two was open. I mean, that's that's just astronomical. Um, a very good friend of mine, and what I consider an inner circle friend. Uh, two was sent, one was opened, and one was clicked through. Um, let me go on, and uh, down here, there was 19 emails sent. Now, this is over time. Um, 13 were opened, and 9 were clicked through. That's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, now let's go. Um, it will show you, you know, who, who was the two that unsubscribed, uh, where was the one that bounced. And then we have, um, segments. Now, as you can see, 49 out of 53 never even opened them. Now, what do you do in those situations? That is where the auto resend comes in. Now, like I say, as you can see right here, now the first email that was sent, um, two people clicked through, four was open. So out of 54%, that gives 7.5% opened it, and almost 4% clicked through. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the next email in this campaign series, this broadcast series, uh, the same 54 received it, and 9.5%, just a little over 9.5%, actually opened it. Now, granted, none of them clicked through, but hey, that's cool. You know, at least they're opening it. And I know that, thank you very much for that, Mailer Light. I know that our emails are making it into their inbox. Haha, <laughs> that is too cool. Uh, I, was, I was getting nowhere near these kind of open rates or anything else. Or even any anywhere near the click-through rate with Aweber. Hmm. And of course, as I've uh, stated 
a few times before over the last six to eight months, you know. Me and Aweber have just been going round and round. Sorry about that little glitch right there. Really don't understand what happened, but hey, uh, it happened. So then we go. Now I have eight more remaining in the uh, campaign series, as you can see here. This is scheduled to go out at noon today, about two and a half hours from now. Um, this is scheduled to go out tomorrow. Um, I think that would be what, uh, 2.45, 3.45, something like that. Um, this is scheduled to go out, would that be Friday? Yes, I think it would be. Let's take a look over here real quick. Today is Wednesday, the 13th is, th oh my goodness, it's Thursday the 13th tomorrow. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh god, that means it's Friday the 14th. Um, so anyway, um, that's scheduled to go out Friday. Then starting Saturday morning, the, uh, more or less the original Crush campaign, it kicks in, I guess, Friday evening. But Saturday, as you can see, there will be two emails sent. Maybe more. And then on Sunday, the wrap-up, the final day of the the launch. So, you know, if you haven't taken advantage of the special uh, launch price of Screen Profits yet, or haven't grabbed our bonus for whatever reason, uh, go do it now. I mean, come on, get in on this. It is one of the most extensive trainings you're going to get to see in the learning how to do screen captures and use Camtasia and and using GIMP as he um, the GIMPy logo uh, just amazing Jeff Carabantes thoroughly covers all the bases here so if you haven't taken advantage you know I'll post the link below get in get our bonus and uh, take advantage of this because it goes up sa Sunday there's also an inside tour on um, my bonus page so you know go check it out so uh, you know there's still those eight emails remaining to go out and um, like I say this is where uh, the auto resend feature would come in uh, you know there's 49 people who <coughs> excuse me that haven't opened our email yet so um, you know we would want to Definitely use the auto resend feature. We go here and we would want to auto resend the campaign. There we go. That will target all the people that have either um, not clicked through or have not opened our emails you can decide you know in the settings you can decide exactly which ones uh, you're, you're gonna target either the ones that have not opened or the ones that did not click on any of the links or both so I think if you target the ones that have not clicked on any of the links it will also uh, be sent out to the ones that did not open as well so, as you can see, I'm getting some really good stats. If you are not a member of MailerLite, like I say, and I keep telling people, it's free uh, for up to 1,000 subscribers. And um, <laughs> another thing, as you can plainly see, I'm getting uh, quite the... Um, open rates. I'm getting into people's inboxes. Uh, if you know, It's free for up to 1,000 subscribers. If you don't have a thousand, and you can import from Aweber, GetResponse, uh, you know, SendInBlue, whoever you may be using. And uh, take advantage of this. Like I say, right here's, right here's the proof. You know, here's your proof in the pudding. Um, so I hope this has helped you out. And be sure and come back later on today or tomorrow. I might wait and do it tomorrow. Depends on how tired I am after I mow the yard. <laughs> and um, 
we will go inside and I might just use that auto recent feature. All right, remember this is David Caudill, and to your success, we wish the very best. Have the day that you deserve. Bye-bye.